I've got this piece of furniture, which is uh, probably 1940s. Um, it's got a little bit of rusticy old world feel to it, but the varnish is very brown. I don't think it's looking great. So I want to give it a really rustic finish. I want it to look as though it might be in an old farmhouse. And I've been inspired by a lovely piece of furniture here, which I thought was wonderful. The wood is very worn through. There's another piece here that I also love. It's very textured, it's worn in places. I've got Primer Red and I've got Napoleonic Blue. So to get this rustic look, I'm going to use my bristle brush. Natural bristle has got split ends and it allows lots of expression. For this, it's perfect, because instead of it going to a hard end, it's flared out and it's got a lot of texture. It bends, it's very flexible. I do tend to hold it here as well, so I've got a lot of control over it. Now there are a lot of other brushes on the market. This is one of them. A lot of these brushes that look like my brushes, but they're not. There'll be a little plastic spacer in there. This isn't terribly apparent until you just start looking for it. What that does is gives the appearance of being full, but it isn't full at all. When you put water or paint in it, you'll get a natural hole. I'm going to put the primer color on first. Now the paint has been open for a little while, so it's got a little bit thick, and I really like that. I'm going to paint every which way. The paint's quite dry and textured, so I might stab it to get it right in. Not doing this, I want it every which way. So the next stage is for me to paint a second coat. I could now wax it and sand it, and to give it a really rustic look, sanding very hard, or sand it before I wax. I'm not gonna do any of those. I'm going to give it a coat of Napoleonic Blue. The brush is a little bit damp because I've washed it, and I quite like that because it makes it flow a little bit more easily. I'm gonna have a lot of the primer red showing through. So I'm gonna finish painting this and let it dry. And then in my next video, I'm going to show you how to wax it and sand it for a really great rustic finish.